Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite new recipes. So we're making an amazing salmon pasta with a creamy white wine sauce. And I love how simple this dish is. You whip it up together and in like 30 minutes you have a fantastic dish with juicy succulent salmon and then you have that nice creamy alfredo sauce with a hint of white wine. It's such a fantastic recipe. Now today I'm using fettuccine pasta. You can replace it with any type that you have on hand and I'm adding sweet peas. Now if you don't like the peas, you can omit them all together. Maybe add some sliced asparagus or even some steamed broccoli would work fantastic in this recipe. Today I'm going to be using two pounds of salmon and I've removed the skin from the salmon, removed the pin bones and then I cubed it into about one and a half inch pieces. So we have nice chunks of beautiful salmon. Now we're going to season our salmon with lots of kosher salt. Just sprinkle that over the top. You want to be very generous. The salmon is well seasoned and then we're going to add tons of freshly ground black pepper. And next I'm gonna season my salmon with about two to three tablespoons of freshly chopped dill. This is gonna add so much great flavor to our fish. So again, just take your hands and fold it in there so each piece is nicely coated. So our salmon is ready for a pan. Into a medium fry pan, I've added a couple tablespoons of olive oil and I'm heating this over medium heat and I'm gonna add my salmon right in there you want to make sure your pan is nice and hot. So we're going to fry the salmon on all sides, just a few minutes on each side. Salmon is such a delicate and flavorful fish, so you want to cook it very carefully because it cooks very quickly. Just turn it every couple of minutes to give it some nice color on all sides. And once my salmon is done, I'm just going to remove it gently onto a plate and set it aside. I'm going to be using the same pan for my sauce, so you want to retain all that oil on the bottom of the pan. Let's run through real quick what else we'll be needing for this recipe. So I'm going to be using, uh, for the sauce, five garlic cloves, and I've pressed these through a garlic press. We're going to be using one minced shallot, and then for our flavorings, we're going to be adding one tablespoon of fresh thyme, a couple tablespoons of fresh dill, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and then for our sauce, we're going to be adding one cup of half and half and half a cup of white wine. Today I have some Savoyon Blanc, but you can really use any type of white wine as long as it's not sweet, and we're also going to be adding a cup of of peas. Now these were frozen, I'm just thawing these out, and these are going to be perfect for our sauce. And now we can start our sauce. So for this step, you want to keep your pan at a low medium heat so it's not too hot. I'm going to add in my minced garlic, right in there, and I'm going to add my shallot, and I'm going to sweat these over low heat until that shallot is translucent, so you don't want this to brown. My shallot and garlic are cooking along nicely and I'm going to add my one tablespoon of fresh thyme and let that cook for another minute or two. And now I'm ready to add my wine. So we're going to add about half a cup of wine and I'm going to turn up the temperature on my pan here up to medium. I'm going to let this simmer until that wine is reduced in half. So I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt, sprinkle that in over the top. We're going to, of course, add some freshly ground black pepper. Give that lots of flavor. And I'm going to add my one cup of half and half. And I'm going to turn down my sauce back to a low medium heat. Next, I'm going to add my Parmesan cheese and just give that a whisk and then cook that for a few minutes until that cheese is completely melted. You'll notice as you're cooking this, the sauce is going to keep reducing. It's going to thicken up really nicely to nice creamy thick sauce. And now for my final two ingredients, I'm going to add in my freshly chopped dill and our peas. Give that one last mix. Let this cook for about two minutes and then our sauce is all done. My sauce is all done now and now we can put our dish together. So I've cooked half a pound of fettuccine pasta and I'm going to add that right into my sauce here. Give that a toss until all our pasta is nicely coated. While you're making the sauce you want to keep your salmon warm somewhere on the side of your stove and now I can just return it back into my dish. So just place it right on top 
And that's it for our dish. It's super, super easy to put together. You'll have a fantastic dinner in no time. And I like to top off each serving with like four or five pieces of salmon so you get lots and lots of that salmon flavor. You really can never have too much salmon. Mmm. This tastes so, so good, guys. You guys are gonna absolutely love, love all the flavors. You get that nice, creamy, garlicky Alfredo sauce with a hint of white wine, and it coats that pasta so well. It's so creamy and delicious. It really just melts in your mouth. And you add that tender, juicy salmon. It just makes for such a fantastic and easy dinner. You guys can have this ready in like 30 minutes, I promise. And it's so, so good. You really can't beat this. So if you guys do make it, please share with me on Instagram. I love to see your guys' creations, and I'll see you next time.